and we're going to start off by looking at each and every yeah. wreck. I oh, believe. let's go Rex. T Rex. What? In the Anvil's Legacy update. So, want to just start it off? Let's do it. Cool. Let's roll some Rex. So, uh, obviously, we've got a, a pretty huge slate of brand new items that we've got going on. Uh, starting off, we've got something that everybody has been asking for. Halo fans for years have been wanting to be able to uh, disarm the hunter and use their arm. And here we go. We've got some B-roll here of uh, what a wicked grasp we play with right here. Uh, this is a uh, basically a huge hunter arm turret. That was the codename, right? Hunter arm. Yes, hunter arm. Yep. And here we see. Uh, and see I guess the official, official name of, the of both new, are their assault cannons. Yes, right? they are. Yes, hunter assault cannons. Uh, there's some neat little lore that uh, it's rumored that some of the hunter worms are actually still twitching around. Uh, inside I can actually there. see them. Yeah. So, might be interesting. Interesting to think about that. Yeah, I cannot and it's not the only one. We've got uh, two examples of this. We've got the, the Wicked Grasp, and we have the Berserker's Claw as well. This, yeah, this was uh, ultra rare, of course. It's going to fire fuel rod shots uh, after a short charging cycle. Yep. Got a little and bit it of tracks, a short charge. tracks aerial targets, which if you remember, yep. John Hathaway on our progression team mentioned that he loved to use this one to take down enemies in flight, of course, which is the one you want to do uh, some serious damage. Yep, solid for some like early game air defense, for sure. Uh, it's almost like having your own personal, uh, like, anti-air raid turret, almost. Which I always, Which is, I mean, day to day, I always wish I had with me. Yes, and this I is even. true. It's true. The, the lease with option on it, though, is, is horrible. It is it's, <laughs> it's, it's indeed. But, Let's yeah. talk about the Tactical Magnum. You saw this early on. We showed a teaser of it. We finally talked about it last week. It's an ultra-rare, whisper-quiet tactical pistol loaded with armor-piercing rounds. Uh, it's going to be uh, you know, Bip, ba bam. Yep, a baffle-free suppressor and a two times full visor smart link. Uh, looks pretty sweet, and I think it takes skins as well, right? Being that it is a loadout magnum, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should. So you can uh, outfit it with uh, some of the new sweet skins. Like, uh, I think the SOCOM pistol right here with the land grave would look absolutely slick. It would indeed. Tactical magnum looks good. Let's talk about yep. the next one. That's going to be the gunfighter magnum. This one's also an ultra rare. It's a quick draw magnum with fast reload magazines. You've got iron sights, though. Yep. Uh, no smart link module. So this thing, you know, if you're, uh, if you're running and gunning, this is a trusty sidearm. Indeed. Yeah, and it's uh, it's an interesting, basically kind of like, like side draw. to play. I know, yeah, that quick draw right there. <laughs> it's great too if you've got uh, maybe as a you know a comp uh, a company into like an automatic something. I found really nice is to use the brute plasma rifle, mm -hmm. shred those shields really quick, and quick draw this out. Sure. Once in the head. And depending Done. on what range you like playing, right? Of course, also great with if you have a sniper, right? If you're yep. staying back, hitting no scopes, need to finish off those headshots, you can do it up. Let's talk about some of the weapon attachments. Here's your cog scopes. You can throw these, of course, on uh, any of these loadout weapons, weapons, right? Yeah. And uh, really lay down some shots. It'll help you, of course, at those medium ranges. You can see it attached on each of these weapons here. We also got to talk about the sound dampener. Uh, these yeah. are going to, of course, increase your effective range uh, and reduces the firing signature um, that you'll be able to use uh, across, I believe, every Ooh, single. Some load. ODST kind of throwback theme. We got like the sound dampener. We've got the you know, the Magnum. Yeah. Oh, I, should, I mean, a lot of sneaky, sneaky a lot of people style. have asked. Like while, while we take a look at the sound dampener, uh, of course, and, and exactly how sweet those look on the barrel. Tell me, a lot of people have been asking: Is the tactical magnum? Is it the ODST magnum? Is it an ODST magnum? Where does that fall? An is the best way to put that. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you know the UNSC can can outfit their troops with a, a huge array of armaments, mm -hmm. and there's uh, it's yeah, an ODST magnum is the best way to put it. Okay, cool. Nice modular design helps with that. Absolutely. Here's the landgrave skins. These are awesome. A fleur de lis look uh, in these yeah, designs. Super cool. We'll try to get really close here to see exactly how it looks, but a, a, a beautiful, beautiful design on these. If you're a fan of, of, of the intricate, more yeah, delicate. Man. It's look. like some New Orleans Saints row here. It is, uh, <laughs> it is indeed. Uh, of course, you're going to have chief. Uh, That's the best part. Chief helmets. That's the best um, part. But kind of located on the grips, located on sometimes uh, on the foregrip, uh, on the hand grip, right on the barrel. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. But we got to talk about these. Oh. The master control skins. Uh, these are rare. They look absolutely beautiful. If, if you haven't been following everything, back in March, a uh, community member by the name of Vetoed posted an idea for neon yep. weapon skins. It's all on, his fault. On r slash Halo, and, and we took a, a note. I looked at it, our progression team looked at it, and I said, hey, maybe we can get this in. Turns out the team went to work right away, 
and the Master Control skins are finally here in the game. Vetoed, of course, we're going to be hooking you up with these skins when the update drops. These skins uh, right here are like make me want to equip different stances that I might not usually use just to show off like some of these skins. Yeah, here. these are uh, sweet as well. Of course, you've got pretty much um, new looks for some of these fan favorite Reach armors. Yep. So, I mean, Emil with flames, like, how can you really go wrong? Uh, you've got George, George with some very stylish stripes. Um, not necessarily the most slimming going horizontal, but true. George never cared about that. So, so that's pretty good. <laughs> you know, like, I, love the, I love the signature there on the back. Yep, and here's the uh, Vigilant Watcher as well, by the way, uh, showing off the Master Control skin as well as the lower level there uh, on Mercy, oh, uh, which you're going to be seeing later today good. as well. So good. Yep, June, and we've got uh, yeah, we've got the cat with the intruder trespasser armor. We can fly with the master control skins. Dueling up on the master control skins there. Not a bad choice. I, I, we saw people at, at PAX actually, you know, they, we had all the new skins, of course, unlocked on the PAX show floor. So it was, it was cool to see uh, everyone kind of equipping both of those skins.